This is the right knee joint. Let me help you orientate yourselves to this specimen. This is the tibial tuberosity on the anterior aspect of the upper end of the tibia. And there is the head of the fibula and below that the neck of the fibula. And between the two you can see bits of the interosseous membrane. So that's the anterior aspect of the upper end of the tibia and fibula. And above the upper surface of the tibia are the two femoral condyles, the medial and the lateral femoral condyles. And covering the anterior aspects of the distal uh, femur is the patella, which I'm pointing to here. And coming off from the inferior aspect or the inferior pole of the patella is the patella ligament on its way to the tibial tuberosity. Now, you might expect this joint, you know, with the two large femoral condyles resting on a relatively flat surface, the tibial plateau, you might expect this joint to be a relatively unstable joint. And yet, it is a very, very stable joint. And dislocations of the knee joint are distinctly rare conditions. So what is it that accounts for the stability of the knee joint?